Hello, hope everyone's doing great. It's G.I. Take, your proud U.S. Army veteran here to serve you. Hope you're having a great new year. We are officially in white phase. White phase is the second phase of basic training, duration three weeks approximately. Again, I've been out 10 years, so it may, it may be different. White phase uh, is the second stage. The first phase was red phase. We actually graduated, like I said. Like I said, white phase was fun. It was interesting. Uh, right off the back, we went into the fields for three days. Red phase was one day. White phase was three days. My battle buddy actually showed up this time. It was great. You did some land navigation, some mapping, um, do some team building exercises out there, um, like moving a you know 500 pound barrel from A to B, like without touching the ground. Kind of remind me of playing like lava as a kid. A lot of team building exercises. You got the obstacle courses you also do as well. You do a lot of this in white phase, at least I did. Um, some more shooting at the range. Again, I, like I said before, I, I was never a good marksman. I had horrible vision. I had the BCGs, the birth control glasses. They said that because as long as you weren't, were, you were wearing those, you weren't getting any. Um, again, I got 23 out of 40. I barely qualified. <laughs> Hence why I'm, I got a 2.9 saw for my squad leader later on. He's like, maybe you'll hit something with this. Um, so yeah, that was white phase. As far as, you know, we went to the field. We did, you know, we did some more shooting. Uh, we were moving better as a, as a unit. Um, marching, you know, marching in cadence. Now we were singing cadence songs and everything. Yo, left, right on left. Um, all that good stuff. I hear the choppers hovering. Um, yeah, um, I, w I wanted to touch on something too. I mean, we'd still go to the defect every day to eat. And this is when you we would raise our white guy on to show, you know, hey, we're in the white phase now. Fuck you, red phase platoons out there. And I'll never forget, in white phase, in the defect, the drill sergeants had a kill zone. And this is where you were not allowed to enter. And one time, out of the whole time I was there, I blanked out and I entered the kill zone. And I got my ass chewed the fuck out by drill sergeants. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I tried to take the, the quick shortcut across. And before I knew it, I had three drill sergeants surrounding me saying, where the fuck are you going, private? I had one drill sergeant saying, yeah, go ahead. Sit down, eat with us. And, and for a split second, I was like, okay. And then the other drill sergeant was like, you better not fucking sit down. I'll whoop your ass. So they let me go eventually, and I, I never went through that kill zone again. So again, when you're in basic training, stay out of that kill zone, always eyes front. I, I, the worst thing you can ever say to a drill sergeant is, sorry, drill sergeant. No matter what you say, they're going to flip it on you. But if you say, sorry, drill sergeant, they're going to say, oh, I'm a sorry, drill sergeant, am I? So just try to stick to yes, drill sergeant, no, drill sergeant. When you fuck up, own up to it. They'll, they'll respect you more because of it. Don't ever try to lie. Um, you're only going to hurt yourself in the platoon. That was one time I fucked up. White phase was bad for me because I fucked up in the defect there one. And I fell asleep during fire guard. Now, what is fire guard? Fire guard is probably the worst thing about training. Fire guard, well, not really. Maybe I'm embellishing a little. But fire guard essentially is at night, there's always two people on duty. So it sucks because I think we, we sleep from like 9 to 5, I believe. And there's always going to be two people's every, two, two, pe two personnel on it on shift every hour. So if you have a two o'clock in the morning shift, you gotta sleep, wake up, do an hour, and then try to get back to sleep. And now the thing is, you don't have this all the time. It rotates, so if it's a big, if it's a big platoon, you're not gonna get it every night, probably once a week, um, depending on where you're at in the rotation. Me, <laughs> I had it one time at two in the morning, and I ain't gonna fucking lie, I fell asleep during my fire guard shift, and the drill sergeants will randomly come in and asked for that head count. He can tell I just woke up and I was trying to get my shit together. I had like my, my vest on backwards. And he's like, get your, he was banging on the door. He's like, and I'm like, who is it? He's like, what? He's like, why the fuck would you ask who it is? And he's like, open the door, it's a drill sergeant. So I opened it and again, you can't win. He's like, why the fuck did you open the door? I'm like, you just told me to do drill sergeant. Chewed me out. He told my buddy, get this motherfucker squared away. Got the number and left. Honestly, I think he was just doing it to have fun again. In my, in my basic training, every two weeks we had two new drill sergeants that were coming from reserves. They were going, this was their two weeks of the year, so they are going to get the rocks off and have fun. But I did fuck up, so do not fall asleep on fire guard, ever. Stay awake. Um, and that was that, those were the two times I actually fucked up. Again, white phase was more, just another level. Three days in the field, more shooting, more land nav, more mapping, more working out as a, as, as a, as a unit. They did, we did a lot of drill exercises, even though my platoon sergeant, drill sergeant Amigo, wasn't big on that. It was more about being in the field and getting shit taken care of. Um, those were the two times I fucked up fire guard. Remember, always stay awake. And the defect and the mess hall. Um, don't go during that kill zone. And they'll lay this all out for you. Um, it's always better to be first one in because 
you get to eat longer, I guess. If you're the last one going in, you gotta hurry up and eat because the platoon's waiting on you. Once you eat, you go outside and you stand in formation. And you always walk around the formation, never in front. You try to shoot out. Okay, also, just side note, keep working on that PT. If you're really serious about joining, get up, start getting up now every day at four in the morning. That way when you're there, you're already conditioned to it. Get your push-up, get your sit-ups in, get your two-mile running, get your flurry kicks in. Um, that way when you're there, it's just a breeze for you, okay? Um, next video, I'm gonna get into the blue phase, which is my favorite phase. A lot of shit went in heavy, we fired heavier um, weapons. We went to the field for a week, I got in a fight with the drill sergeants. Um, we, what else, we, the, we started like, you know, having some fun. The guys started loosening up, we were about to graduate. We even went to the gas chamber. I'm gonna get into all that during the blue phase. And again, that was the last phase uh, before we graduated. So white phase, we really didn't get in trouble. We did get smoked one time really bad. They said we're gonna smoke into the wall sweat, and that is true. They smoked us for like an hour of push-ups, sit-ups, flutter kick, push-ups, sit-ups, flutter kick. And, and literally the sweat was jumping off the wall. They can't explain it. Maybe it was our own sweat and that's how it worked, but it was fucked up. And that was one time, that was like the one time we fucked up during white phase. I don't recall the guide on getting folded. Um, well, now we did have a platoon guy. He was a guy from LSU. Uh, L LSU, he was like a football player, hurt his legs, so he joined the military, and he was a great leader, but someone fucked up, so he got fired. And we got another platoon guy, which is the PG, essentially this is the guy who tells us what to do after the drill sergeant, lets, her, lets him know everything, what we're supposed to do, and then he, you know, it, 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 it goes down. And one thing you'll learn in the military is everything, uh, shit goes downhill. Um, but yeah, that, that one guy from LSU was a pretty cool dude. I'll talk more about that in the blue phase. Again, this is a... Uh, G.I. Jake, you're a proud U.S. Army veteran here to serve you. There we go.